Hitting kids with cars, meeting moms and bars, hitting those moms kids with cars, hitting moms and bars with cars. I know you're probably thinking, hey, where do you get all these cars? Good fucking question, friend, I know. Why don't you come outside and I'll show you my new car? So what are we talking about? I don't know. Talking about DLC? Yeah, it's cool, man. You never played this game. Let's check out the DLC first. Let's give you even, better. let's give you even less reference point. Yeah, it's, but it's not important that we're starting with the DLC because the story isn't important. It's all the gameplay. Hmm. Don't play footsies with me, Zach. All right, I'm trying to kill demons here. And look, man, I'm just trying to be comfortable. All right, well. So. You oh man, that you know that'd be some great gameplay. Uh, the Original Doom has so many good mods right now. Like they're like, let's remake the Legend of Zelda, <laughs> but in Doom, in the Doom engine. Yeah. And then they're like, let's remake Castlevania One, but in the Doom engine. Yeah, dude. And uh, they're pretty fucking good, man. Like, but uh, what's been going on, man? How you been? I don't know, man. I mean, pretty much. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I just, yeah, I'm, I mean, overnights and 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 comic books and and kids, man. I tried to read, I don't know, I can't, H.P. Lovecraft. It's really good. Well, I, his his work especially is weird, like, uh... It's I, oddly specific about things. It, it, well, it reads the same way as, like, Tolkien, where it's like, yeah, this actually happened, here's a historical account of it. Yeah, and I mean, in, in some instances, uh, a lot of his stories aren't reprinted because they're racist. Because they're racist. 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 I'm just trying to like walk into a bookstore and walk out. It doesn't happen often, does it? Yeah, like there's a story called like it's like the rats in the walls or some bullshit, and and, and uh, that sounds more like a Poe than a yeah, Lovecraft. Yeah, I'm probably butchering. Oh it, no, that is yeah, that's that's. What they base the Cthulhu games off of, right? I, uh, uh, there's basically they refer to black people as like demons. Yeah. And, yeah. I, I didn't like the movie, but the short story, The Color Out of Space, is my favorite Lovecraft thing. And then um, I really liked the movie. I know. A lot I of did not did. like, dude. I love Nick Cage, and I love Nick Cage for what it was. But now, it, to it, be it, fair, this is just me. Look, I, I was not looking at it as a movie. I was looking at it as the adaption from the story. Right. And in doing that, in every way, the story was just fucking better. Well, there, yeah. There was nothing about... It's a great fucking story. Well, th that's the problem, though, is there was nothing about the movie that I said, oh, they did this better. There wasn't a redeeming quality. I mean, it. they nailed the plot. Dunwich Horror, like, that's... I'd say that's the second best, in in my opinion. Dagon is really fun, but it's super short. I really like the At the Mountains of Madness. Yeah, I think which, it's great, man. That's which, the one where they get the, the 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 conical people, and they well, cause they and then it mentions the the yug yug shugoths or whatever they are. Yeah, they're the bulbous beings that these aliens had created on Earth, but then their creations ended up becoming uh, more powerful than they were and like I'm pretty sure they have some kind of telepathic link uh, in a different story that references the same conical creatures is uh, one of the guys is he's, he's having so. these communications with these beings from another planet and he's describing the aliens from at the mountains of madness and that's like Damn. the one where the research crew you know, they're up there in Antarctica and they're looking for shit and then they end up finding those caves that turn into like an underground city. I don't think, I don't, I'm not sure if I've read that one. And there's but, like but an it, underground ocean passageway. It was, it was reminding me of one where there's, um, but it's like a haunted fucking mansion thing and there's like a lightning monster. Yeah, there's a lot of sexual tension between Luke and Leia. They were intended to be brother and sister, and then by the time that he got to the last film in the trilogy, they were brother and sister. Say what you will about him, he's, he's not an idiot. Fuck, man. That's what we need to do. What? 
brother. What do we need to do? Diablo Four. I I thought you were speaking Spanish for a second. We could do, I mean I mean we could do Diablo too. Is Diablo also Italian? Because I feel like a lot of the mythology in Diablo is Italian. A lot of uh, yeah. I know that a lot of French and Spanish cross. Right. So so. Um, do you think it's Spanish and not Italian? No no no. I th I think that there are Italian and Spanish words that cross as well. Or um. Yeah. I know. I know. For a fact that fucking French and Spanish are pretty close, I can only assume that that Italian is just pretty another relative. Well. You know what I mean? Yeah. What the fuck were we talking about? Uh, I was just watching this gameplay and it was making me think about uh, Diablo. So that's you know. Really? Yeah. I just. Uh, oh my god. I mean, there's a lot, you know, there's a lot of demons and a lot of constant frantic movement, and I feel like if you're really good at Diablo, you're always moving. Uh, pretty much no matter what class you're playing. And it was just reminding me, as you were moving through uh, the there enemies, I was like, fuck, man, we should play Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I was I would love to play Diablo 4. I'm actually we should do the Diablo 2 remaster when it comes out. Yeah, but this is what I was saying is like, yeah, or you know, Diablo 4 or that or both, you know. Yeah, why why not? I I well, just mean that the So <laughs> if we if we have a setup, um I I want to bring over um I want to bring over my Switch with the new um Excuse me. This is a warning. The following conversation is about to be bloody diabolical. So viewer discretion is advised. You fucking cunts. Uh, yeah. So. You, uh. Did you put it in her ass last night? No. Did you, big guy? Huh? Did you change? No. I didn't. Not that I didn't want to, <laughs> that I'm not into it, Brandon. It's because there's much more purposely built things to fuck. Um, like a vagina, <laughs> like a man's asshole. <laughs> to be fair, the prostate hits different. Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, think I do know what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there, there, there's a reason that gay men aren't crossing over. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's definitely the prostate, though. If they're all joking aside, that is a special pocket of love. Yeah. Well, you know, I can't be the only man that that thinks while doing anal. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. While there, do, there's, wait. there's no, my well, okay. While. I'm not receiving. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm in a woman, and I'm thinking, like, there is far too much air in here for this to be pleasurable. Really? Yeah, I just think it never feels as, as tight and as moist and as wonderful as a vagina. As a but, vagina. but again, you, we're not factoring in the male prostate. That is a whole other pocket of muscular goodness. That's true. Not that I've ever done it. I'm totally straight. I'm just saying. You know, I'm just saying. Men that probably have a, a more mask or, or muscular. There, there are things that we're probably not factoring in, and until I try it, I can't say for sure. Plus, but the I, prostate being in the way probably tightens things up down there. You know, it's you gotta got be. Stuff. It's gotta be something. It's gotta be like extra pressure points for your penis. Yeah, and for their asshole. I mean, like definitely for them. You know. Yeah, women are what? missing out, dude. All women ever do is cry when it comes to anal. Dude, I don't know what it is sometimes. The vaginas are so fickle. You do the same thing to a penis a hundred times to make it come, and it'll come one hundred times. You do the same thing to make a vagina come a hundred times, and you might get fifty. I've look, I've 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 come to accept she come that <laughs> there are nice. just there are just nice extra cum. extra steps involved with the vagina, like I've come to accept, like, I... Yeah, you gotta, like, preheat the oven. Well, that's the thing. It's like, all right, I'll use my tongue. She comes, and then the penis com becomes involved. Because it's easy to please. Yeah, it's easy but, to please. And, 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 and if things escalate too quickly, okay, well, maybe if... 
if and or before things are resolved, we might have to bust out a toy or two to save to save some jaw cramping, okay? Yeah. I'm not ashamed. We've all been there. That doesn't make make me less of a man. No, that, it's, but it makes her less of a woman. For some reason, yeah, our <laughs> bodies are working. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any issues over here. It seems like all my genitals work Look, fine. Look, maybe the issue is they have to focus so hard on it because they're crazy. You know, no, no, no. no. Let, let's just be straight here. Women are crazy. <laughs> let's be totally serious here. Yeah, listen. No satire. They're thinking about doing the dishes while we're thinking about coming. And you want to tell me that we're the problem? Well, it's not even that they're thinking about doing the dishes. They're thinking about the fact that we didn't do the dishes, so now they have to do them. <laughs> oh, I love you. I love you, women. Couldn't live without you. But, uh, you know, anal sex. Still have that without you. Don't need you for that. Uh, look, I'm just saying, I think I, could, I think I could coexist in a world without a penis, but not without a tongue. What do you mean? I mean, my penis isn't always going to give the pleasure they desire. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. I can always keep it real with the tongue. Yeah, women love... Uh, Look, I'm not ashamed of, whatever whatever reason. of a vibrator being implemented in the uh, in the. Equation. No, I mean, why should you be? That's what they're for. No. Especially if, like, we can pull it out of my ass, clean it off. And well, then, that's, and, that's I use a condom. And then use it elsewhere. You know, you just put a condom around it. Before you stick it up your ass, and then I mean, for me personally, like I can't always afford those vibrating cock rings. So what I do is I just I press a regular vibrator. I like tape it to my belly button, and it's close enough in proximity. That, yeah, that it sends the vibrations down my shaft. Yeah, yeah. I would have just gone for the mons pubis, as far as taping it to something. But I mean, I'm sure the belly button looks cool. Well, I want to have the deepest penetration possible. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're saying that your the belly is pressing up against. Just imagine if it was on my, if it's on if it's on my pubic area yeah. and it was taped it's down. Too high. It was I'd, too low. I'd be, well, I'd be losing like at least an inch. Yeah. In penetration, right? Yeah. And plus, you know, um, putting it a little higher, it's gonna when it, whenever you guys are, you know, push, holding your bodies close together. Well, well, sometimes I do tape it to my nuts. So. It's like, <laughs> Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a different angle. Speaking of uh, uh, those vibrating cock rings, I, I, I fell asleep wearing one one time. <laughs> <laughs> I almost spit my fucking coffee out, dude. Let me tell you. That you was, couldn't uh, feel your dick. Uh, yeah, it was, it was not cool. Because I put it around the balls, too. You ever do that? No! I, what I the it. fuck? It was not pleasant, man. I, I regretted that for like two or three days. That's amazing. Yeah. Because, you know, you, 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 you put one on sometimes because you're like, I'm expecting something to happen in the future. You know. Yeah. Nothing nothing in particular. I mean, we've all done that with condoms. Just. <laughs> 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 yeah. Put them on beforehand. <laughs> just, just to, you know, get rid just, of that awkward just in, in between step. Just in case. When she's like, do you, do you bring protection? Just in, like, just in <laughs> case. Just in case. baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in case they accident. Like, I, I, I brought pre-lubed condoms just in case it led to that, and then it just kind of... <laughs> pre-lubed Yeah, it just slid into place and all worked. <laughs> and then I just... What I did to, to, to break the ice was after the makeout session, pretended that I put it on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like... I well, wouldn't. Like, I, well, I did, what I did was, uh, you know, it would, it would be like an awkward um, 10 seconds of condom. Yeah. I, I made it an awkward 5 seconds, so it seemed like I was really proud. Yeah. I was like, like I've definitely had sex. Like, I'm really good at this. I can lube and put a condom on. Yeah, yeah. I don't much. Woo! I don't much care for um, unlubricated condoms. You're really good at this game. <laughs> I don't really much care for condoms. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not condoms' biggest fan, actually. I mean, I'm having another kid in December, so I mean, I, I didn't need to tell you that part. I'm not a fan of condoms. Yeah. Ooh. Says the man with ten children. No, this will be my fourth child. 
Oh, yeah, but I'm talking about on the grand timeline. <laughs> like, look, if man, we look into the future. No, 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 no. If they can't at have, this rate, if they don't have the money, you're getting, you're no, having no, more no, babies no, 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 no. closer they, together. Shh, if they don't have the money to prove it, they're not my kids. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, when you're only putting it in one person, it's like. Yeah, but they're the dumb ones that didn't make me sign the birth certificate. See, so. like, how how hard was that? And I did it in like three seconds that time. I swear this game just uh It's the game, dude, my controller doesn't work. You're really good at this game. Uh um, Oh my god. Can I get a guy? Thanks. They spawn in guys so you can get ammo. Oh so Fuck man. Yeah. Yeah, so the guy, uh, what was the guy's name? Uh, the guy that made Berserk? Uh, I don't want to say it and fuck it up. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, he's dead. Uh, did he ever make you question your sexuality? I mean... Uh, I was re-watching Berserk he had some recently. super homoerotic shit going on, right? He also had some super erotic shit going on. Well, yeah, but you can't Why is it? <laughs> Listen. Why is it? No, why is it standard is erotic, and then <laughs> if it's gay, you gotta say, oh, it's homoerotic. Isn't it still just erotic? No. Is that just to be specific? It's specific. Uh, I mean, homoerotic might be hate speech now, but it's it's very specific. I mean... I we, mean, unless you're listen, looking listen, for listen, listen. We weren't we weren't acknowledging the the Homo sapien thing. The whole Homo uh, pretext was for homosexual. So Homo erotic is just Im implying like this really gay thing that's happening, <laughs> right? And and not that there's anything wrong with the gays, but I mean, if you watch Berserk, it's it's just um, really unexpected. Um, Two white men being naked and having water fights. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. I was just rewatching it, and uh, yeah, there's definitely Kinta, Kinta something. I think. This like, is oh, 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 guts. Um, well, I think I Griffith. See that, I see that you're taking a bath. <laughs> well, yeah. So I think the thing is that Griffith. I mean, there's just a lot of uh, homo erotic. Overtones in that, but show. like they're guts, not undertones. They're, guts they're, was molested and raped as a yeah, child. Yeah, well, he was sold into, you know, basically prostitution. But even his master, by his, even by his, his surrogate. Well, no, just his regular father, right? I think it was. It wasn't his real father. Was Gambino not his real father? No, no, no. I think. I think. I, th it, I'm, I, I do not think. I think it was his. Is technically his owner. That was like. Well, okay, because Guts's mother was. That's why Gambino's mad at him, right? It's not his real father. It might be his like adopted father, but he's still like raping him. Well, no, Gambino doesn't rape him. G Gambino's the one who sells him into. Well, the the dude that guts kills. Yeah, that's Gambino. He wasn't raping him though. Oh, he totally was. That's why he killed him. Gambino was raping him. That's the implication. Is why guts would would even. Uh, consider killing him is that he's taking sexual advantage of him. No, 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 no. It was an accident that he killed him. Yeah, but he's killing him because he's he's being sexually exploited by an older man. I, no, it was throughout his whole life. He's like running away. No, and, he, and there's a whole reason. They like fall on top of each other. Bro, there's a whole thing about him being sold and raped repeatedly. And that's why he doesn't like people touching him. Yeah, I know. That includes the guy that he killed, who is also a rapist, a child molester, if you not will. Not Gambino. Gambino yes. wasn't a child molester. No, no, I, no, no. I will put money on this. I'm I, pretty. I just watched it. I will do it. Well, then you watch. Then you were not thinking in the in the correct uh, um, uh, terms of it. But, def <laughs> but definitely, no, I was definitely like, this is fucked up that his dad would do that to him. It's not his dad, though. I'm. It's I not don't know. His dad. I, I don't think so either. It's a slave owner, and he was raping him. No, no, that's no, no. why he killed him. Hang on. He killed him in his sleep, Brandon. No, it's lore and berserk that he kills him in his sleep. You are the biggest berserk fan I know, and you don't know that he kills him in his sleep because he's been raping him. Yeah, but I'm. I just rewatched it, and I was like, I don't remember I, it going down this way. Unless this might be some Mandela God effect. Damn it, shit. Brandon. He, are you sure it's not the Mandela? It's effect not his though? father. <laughs> he was his slave owner, and he was raping him. That's it. I, okay. I, I Get on Google you. right now. No, just I pause the game. <laughs> no, I need to know. Damn pause it. the game. No. Okay. Yeah. I, I remember what happened is Shizu 
is the one who picks him up out of the dead lady's body. Because there's the the because guts was born from a dead woman. Word. Remember, his mom is hanging from the tree, and Shizu is with Gambino, and then somehow Shizu ends up dying because of guts in Gambino's eyes, which is why Gambino hates him. But Gambino never raped him. Really? Because I I just feel like in the anime there's this really awkward moment where he's like they're they're he's naked. They're both nude and yeah. in the tent. The head. Okay, so looks on from a hill of corpses as Guts cries out for help. So what I'm remembering is the Donovan scene. Yeah. And then just implicating it onto I mean the other fuckface. To be also, fair, also it was a hundred percent Gambino's fault. Yeah, but also uh also I mean when you're watching the anime it, it's up for interpretation because I don't think it's ever explicitly um, explicitly Donovan raping him. I just remember the the scene where he's basically being he he flashes back to being attacked and yeah. raped. And it and, def- it definitely seems like it's Gambino. Right. So then you make the you make the assumption there. But I mean. Oh, I have the red key card now. I I forgot what my initial argument was. Oh, that, <laughs> that there is a lot of homoerotic undertones in Berserk? I mean, not just homoerotic, just homo. But, you know, whatever. Nothing wrong with the gays. I'm just saying there's a lot of weird rape shit, guys. Yeah, we got... <clears throat> so that's why... Okay, but you see where I thought that... There's okay, so there's a. But scene. it wasn't his dad. No, but there was a scene in the the anime, and I'll I'll admit I was watching it in the background, but I was you know I was paying attention. I was working on something, <coughs> something else that I could <coughs> have something on in the background, and uh, there the some of the mercenaries in the camp are like, I can't believe he keeps him around after he got Shizu killed like that, or his mom killed like that, something like that. And it made me think, like, oh, is, like, did Shizu and Gambino have guts? Like, was was he their baby? But no. You know, my biggest problem with Berserk now is watching the new anime and just seeing how terrible it is. Yeah, did they ever uh, do another season of, uh, I know they did, so what was it, 2016, they, they did the 3D Berserk uh, series? Yeah, I mean, you can you can hop on, like, Crunchyroll right now, and it never got better. It was just all these PS2 graphics. Well, I think part of the problem was that they had let uh, a director who had never worked on uh, a 3D um, show before. He'd only done ever done 2D work. So he was, uh, he was a tested, you know... Uh, he was a tested director. Like, he he had directed successful uh, anime in the past, but never a 3D one. And so a lot of the camera angles and things that he chooses don't really make sense in a, uh, in a uh, uh, 3D sense. I, yeah, I mean, it's so bad I can't watch it, if, if that means anything. Um, and I mean... I love the original series, and this this takes place directly after they made three movies. Yeah, that remade the original series. Which some of them is not, it's not bad. I was it's, so it's so not earlier, bad, but it's still the shitty three D animation in some right. in some parts of it. I think and, that and the, it's better the, than the TV show. The yeah, that's the problem is that the TV show happens and then it's worse. Yeah, I was legitimately playing uh, PS2 anime games back in the day that looked better with with the the fucking cutscenes. The cutscenes were li- were just hand drawn animation. It was just hand drawn anime. Yeah, and now. It looks like I'm. It looks like I'm watching the uh, uh, the gameplay from the PS2, and that's a that's a fucking problem, dude. That's a step back. Yeah, well, I, you know that goes back to your story is only so much of what the enjoyment is because if you can't enjoy what you're seeing, like Shin Chan looks bad, but it looks good. It looks bad in a good way. 
What? Yeah, I yeah. I mean, I would argue that uh, Shin Chan looks really fucking good for <laughs> what, what it is. What it is. But it's really bad, also, if if you can say things like, um, if you can say things like, you know, Shin Chan looks better than the new Berserk. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is a good point. Um, <laughs> just it just flattens them out on the wall. Sorry, what were we talking about? Oh, you know, just just my bitching with the new berserk. Like I couldn't, right. even, I couldn't even get past one episode, dude. And I have all the, I have all the remake movies, and even those weren't really fun for me. It was just, I was kind of collecting them at the time because it was like, <clears throat> it was berserk, you know? Yeah. Well, so back to the homoerotic thing. There's a lot of homoeroticism in, in Berserk, but there's also just regular eroticism. Like, Guts and Casca straight up fuck, and then Casca just straight up gets raped by, by Griffith. Spoilers for Berserk, by the way, I guess. Yeah, this, this has been out I for mean, like 20 years at this point, so you'll, you'll just have to get I over mean, it. I mean, you gotta, you gotta fucking love Berserk. I mean, I don't have to do anything, Zach. I mean, I'd fuck Casca. Oh, yeah, but that's not the point. The point is... I think it is the point. <laughs> the point is that uh, there's there's just... It's just an erotic show. I think... Not show. I mean, it is a show, but... I mean, I, I'm I'm not going on record <laughs> saying it's only a homoerotic thing. I, I just uh, I just have to note the... Wow. Okay. I just have to note the level. Of... Homoeroticism versus regular erotic. Yeah, I mean the level on which I'm absorbing this content. Um, <sighs> yeah, I, it, and it's not apparent through the whole series. There's just some points where it was like, uh, I mean, let's not sugarcoat it. That shit has happened all through God through history. I mean, we're talking um, soldiers on the battlefield away from their women. How do they? Um, Resolve their sexual urges. Zach, don't you know? It's called a sock. Yeah. <laughs> but have you ever used a sock? No, because it sucks. Well, I, mean, I don't it, know why people use it's. Socks. It's just a, it's the dumbest <laughs> thing I've ever heard of because like. From the time I can masturbate, <coughs> I, I just used the uh, non-scented lotion. And it has been my best friend ever since. Uh, but even just, like, even then, spit. even then, water-based <laughs> lube. But yes, yes, absolutely spit. But but also socks, not good, man. Even after, you know, I turned eighteen and bought my first uh, uh, pocket pussy. I, 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 my first pocket. Well, pussy. I, no, dude. I I mean, I tried. I tried. No. Look, you try. Not everything. that you have one. It's just funny that listen, it's the first one. Which listen, listen. You yourself. you try everything. <laughs> you try everything based on uh, the media you consume. So it's like, all right, they're using socks. What's up with this sock thing? Let me tell you, dude. You tried a lotion and or lube a sock. Yeah. It doesn't feel anything like it, and it doesn't feel any better than the the plain. I thought it was just to catch the cum. It it well to be fair. Do you just put like the t on the tip of your cock and like when you're about to come. You're... Well, that's that's what I would think too. But then you hear people talk about it and they legit. They're like, I can't come. No, they the legit sock. masturbated with a sock. Yeah. And into the sock, it wasn't just a catch-all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wasn't just the the tissue paper at the end of the ordeal, because me sitting here after years of experience, I'm thinking like, spit in hand. Lotion in hand, nothing better. And these people are like, oh, yeah, my mom found my sock. And it's like, dude, first, first off. First of all, yeah, throw that shit away. First off, <laughs> put first it, off, gross. Yeah, Second off. Put it in the fucking washer, dude. That is, and there's people that tell me they prefer dry jerks. And I'm like, dude. I like a dry jerk. No. It's just it's just quicker. I've, less, less clean up. Uh, I've only ever managed a dry jerk like three times in my life. And let me tell you, it was never as fast and or good as lubed up and with spit and or lotion or anything like the quickest jerk of my life is is the uh the pocket pussy which i think is 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 possibly a gift from the devil if you believe <laughs> uh, 
Because there's nothing that will make you come quicker. I don't know. I've used pocket pussies before, and it's it's about the same. I don't use the flashlight shit because I think that's a that's a lie. I think the things that you have to squeeze manually yourself, you lube it, squeeze it, and then have to clean it. <laughs> I mean, that's what I I used as just like a like a basic one. Yeah, I think I think those in general, without any of the foam, they have to be like because there's ones that have foam in them, which always threw me off. It's got to be the ones that are like the. Um, uh, they're not, they're not latex, I don't know what the fuck you call them, I guess you call them, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, silicone? Yes, silicone. It's the silicone ones, man. Uh, I think I, well, I, they have this one that's I like... I think those are it, I think those are the, those are either a gift from God or a gift from the devil. They have ones that are like non-silicone based now, uh, because of silicone lubricant. If you use silicone lubricant on a silicone based item, then you can ruin the item, because it will, uh, destroy it for some reason. Like, it will tear apart the, uh, the material, the, the silicone. Acts like some kind of, uh, unbinding agent, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it's very strange. Like, you're not supposed to use silicone lubricant on your silicone toys. Fun fact for all you people out there, like, why do my toys keep breaking? You sick fucks. This is because you're using the wrong, uh, <coughs> wrong lube. But again, like, masturbation should be cheap and, uh, and quick. That's why the, the dry jerk is my preferred method. I don't know, dude, I use, I use the, uh, you know, the unscented lotion and it just, just, uh, yeah, but then you gotta buy unscented lotion. But it's cheap as fuck. You get a giant thing for like two bucks, and then it lasts you forever. Right, right, right. I mean, that's fair. I've had my house almost two years. I'm just now out. <laughs> this is it. This is here. You're like, I bought this lotion right around the time I got Yeah, it. I've almost owned my house for two years, and I'm just now out of lotion. It's true. It's They're hard to go through when you just use them for jerking off. Exactly, man. I mean, that's... But, you know, again, it, I just prefer the, the lack of cleanup. And I've been using water-based lube because it's super quick cleanup, but it doesn't feel as good. Really? What, it, do, you, what do you normally use? What do you normally like? Just the, the unscented lotion, I guess? Just the unscented lotion, and then if it dries up, you use some spit in it, <coughs> and it re-lubricates. Yeah, it reactivates itself. But I just you, like using you, my pre cum for well, that. Well, if you, if, you, if you use spit on water-based uh, lube, it, it doesn't work. It actually dissolves the lube. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Well, that was weird. So if you use the lube, you just gotta you just gotta keep using more lube. Oh, I thought we were done. No, with I'm it. not done with it. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta keep using more lube if you <laughs> just lube, just uh, lube it up some more. And then the lube starts looking like soap after a while, like it starts leaving <laughs> this residue on your dick, and you're like, "What the fuck is happening?" <laughs> then you start jerking it for too long. Yeah. It just gets foamy down there. It does, man. <laughs> I know. Uh, we've all been there. <laughs> Fuck, man. I know. It's like, geez, figure it out, guys. It's like, gee whiz. Make it not so foamy. All right. Are you having a laugh? All right, so Carl Urban did the uh, the Dread movie. Carl Urban? Who's Carl Urban? What if Carl Urban a butcher? Ooh. He did the, he did the Dread movie. What if he did a Doom movie? That's right. He did do a Doom movie. What if Carl Urban was the Doom guy? Carl Urban was the Doom guy. Really? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Have you never seen? Have you never seen Doom with Dwayne the Rock Johnson in it? I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't think he was the other guy. <laughs> I thought I thought you were joking. No, is this happening? Right now? <laughs> I didn't know he was the other guy. Yeah, he's the he's the lead character, Billy Butcher. I don't remember him being the, the lead guy. <laughs> I swear, I just watched this movie. Yeah. I He's remember, the main I remember character. the rock turning into 
a demon. A stupid fucking demon. Yeah. Or whatever. And thinking, a monster. my God. This they is weren't shit. demons. They were mutants. They'd got rid of the biblical aspect. This is shit. So, to, to the point of this game, to this to this game's credit, is they also got rid of, like, the religious angle. It's not, like, traditional demonology. It's more, like, transdimensional uh, demons versus, like, <clears throat> you know, biblical demons. It's uh, a lot of the same ideology. There's some kind of, the there's lore some kind of Doom Godzilla crossover that's pretty dope. Yeah, but I'm not letting go of this. I, how did you not... I mean, you must know, like, subconsciously that he was the Doom guy. Remember they have that sweet first-person segment? That's him. Mm, I guess I didn't watch it as recently as I thought, man. Yeah, dude. He did, he did pretty good in that movie, too. His sister is, like, one of the scientists on I don't the... know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just too uh, caught up on Carl Urban, like, on his other... <clears throat> on his other work. So, he was dread. Yeah. I, I think he talks too much in the in the studio Doom film because they did have that Doom Annihilation or whatever he was, it was. He was in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek. That's right. He was uh, Scotty. <laughs> he was, uh, Simon Pegg was Scotty. <laughs> he was... Uh, That's kind of interesting, though, that they worked together in uh, Star Trek and uh, on The Boys. He was in Thor, Ragnarok. Oh, yeah, as uh, uh, Gr Grodd. <laughs> he was not. <laughs> I'm just getting all their names wrong. Uh, he, he was Scotty, the helmsman. And Grog. Look at, look at my stuff. <laughs> what was his... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, I would argue with you he's not Doom Guy in the movie Doom. No, he's totally Doom Guy. He is not. He's totally Doom Guy. No, Doom Guy would imply that he would wear the armor he and would. he would speak. He was just a guy who ended up being the main character after the main character, Dwayne so the Rock the Johnson. No, 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 no. Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson Dwayne was the was main, not character. The main character. He, I, I, no, I'm he has look the least amount of screen time. I would argue movie. he's the main character until he becomes the <clears throat> demon. And then it reveals the true main character... That doesn't make any sense. No, it does because it's actually a storytelling. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Misdirection. Sure, it's a story. It's a storytelling tool, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, God damn it! Don't don't. Now I can't think of what his name was in in, uh, in Thor. Thanks a lot. Well, you're welcome. Scourge. 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 His name was Scourge, and he's got the he's got the the twin uh, the M16s. AKs the 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 AKs. It's, they're M16s. Sure, they're M M16s. Whatever you say. <laughs> Gambino raped guts. Okay. Des, Des and Stroy. Yeah. Gaze upon my stuff. Is that like whenever some gay people break into your house and they're taking your things? Gaze upon my stuff. Whatever you say, Brandon. Look, man. We just got out of Pride Month, so we don't have to be nice to them anymore. Look, all I'm saying is the boy sucks. All right, well, that's kind of a bold statement to make. Yeah, you know, very subjective, but I've read the comics, and while everyone else thinks the show's <laughs> superior to the comics, I got news for them. They've just got poor taste because, oh, the comics are slightly more offensive than the show, and therefore the show is better. No, that's not the case. Um... Well, <clears throat> season two of the show was a fucking joke. You didn't like it? No. It's terrible. Boring. What happened? Uh, Stormfront? You know. Better in the comics. He's got a bigger dick, too. Stormfront. Guess what? Black Noir? Shit in the show. Black Noir has a purpose in the comics. You wouldn't know that unless you read all the way to the end of the comics. Too bad. Just the show ruined it. And we're never going to have that payoff. There, there's a realistic way that Billy Butcher is ever going to kill Homelander in the comics. Guess what? There's no realism in the show that Billy Butcher is ever going to kill Homelander. Also, Billy Butcher, the only thing that made, made him a good person was his wife, explored in a backstory. In the comics, his wife is long gone, so Billy Butcher is barely a good person 
and throughout the comics all the way to the end it ex- is it is explored how terrible of a person he is but also how purely of a badass he is until the very end where you just have to accept that he's a shitty person but a badass but in the show they're they're trying way too hard to humanize him and give him all these pointless story arcs that are honestly ruining his character like he threatens to piss on his dad's coffin in the show but let me tell you in the comics he legitimately pisses on his dad's <laughs> coffin yeah that's how much better of a character he is in the comics just saying i don't know it's it it it's like watching it's like watching fucking Batman in name only. <sighs> That's one of my favorite porns, dude. I'm just kidding. I don't have a favorite porn. <sighs> I don't, dude. Just think. Uh, imagine watching. Uh, They're all good. Watch. Imagine watching Spider-Man and nothing. True. Nothing from the comics comes through. Yeah, he's just like he just he doesn't swing from webs and he just develops web apps. Like that kind of shit. I don't know. Like, imagine Spider Man, but like Uncle Ben never happens. You know? No. Cause that's not Spider Man. It is Spider Man. What? Uncle Un- Ben. Uncle Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uncle Ben, Spider Man. But Uncle Ben not happening isn't Spider Man. Well, imagine Uncle Ben never exists and never right. dies. <clears throat> what What would you say about Spider Man then? Mm. I would call him... What if Batman's gay. parents never died? Hmm. Didn't think about that one, did you, bitch? Batman's parents never died, and he never becomes, like, a, a really good fighter. He just dresses up like a bat and hits people with a crowbar. That's the, that's the equivalent <laughs> of what the boys have done. I guess you can use the same argument I've used with, with Walking Dead. Is like, look, man, the series is going to be going on for a long time. If we copied the comic exactly, people would just go read the books and spoil the show. Blah, 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 blah. But I'm also the same person that swears by good adaptions will translate. Like, if a comic is good... It doesn't matter. If a comic is good for what it is, then that's it. There's people that have already read the comics and want to see it translated purely as purists. And there's people that have never read a comic. Well, there's people that have never read a comic that will still respond to that story. And then there's the middle ground that think the show is so good that they're gonna go grab the comics now yeah. to read them because they've been. I mean, look at uh, look at the Watchmen. Yeah, but the, you know, the, but Zach, there's Zach a different there, there's a difference there. That, that that's a part. movie, and you don't have to worry about spoiling an ongoing series because most people who went and grabbed the comic already saw the movie and loved it. If they weren't already graphic novel fans. Do you know what I'm saying? But if it's an ongoing <coughs> series and you watch it and you go, oh, this is so good and it's based on this comic. I got to check out this comic. Well, the problem is, is they could buy the whole fucking series at once, catch up, spoil themselves, and then the rest of the seasons will either not be as good or have to live up to their expectations. And in my case, I read all the fucking comics um, after season one. And then went back and watched season two, and I was like, ah, this is nowhere near. For the boys? Yeah, and I've... I remember when, I remember, I remember when... And I've fucking read the comics, and apparently I'm in the minority here. Everyone thinks the comics are shit, and that the show is the superior adaption, and I just think these... I don't think that's true. I think these people are uncultured swine, because... I've definitely seen people with similar opinions to yours, as far as the... Well, apparently the comics are just too fucking vulgar and and. Well, you're probably just looking in the wrong circles then. The comics are a lot more violent and rapey and sexist and racist, but I mean, I think that's just a lot more real. And I'm not, you know, I don't condone any of those things. Right, because if the show is going for that edgy nature anyways, then why would they pull any punches as far as the content from the book? Like, why doesn't Starlight suck everybody's dick the first day that she's in the you know what I mean they just pin that all on on the deep 
But it's yeah, like but everybody's it, a Homelander's fucking sex the, Homelander's the one who initiates it, and literally like. Right, but it, they it, all get in. It on was it. well, not all of them. It's just Black Noir, the Deep, and A Train with Homelander. That's all of them, isn't the, it? The, no, because there's more. Because there's Jack from Jupiter, which is no, in, no, no, no. Just J- just, guys, just members of the. Oh, the, yeah, Jack from Jupiter is a member of the Seven. That's the thing is Jack from Jupiter's in the show, but he's only in a porn parody that Lamplighter's showing to uh, Huey. And that's another thing in the comics is they all inject themselves with V so Regularly, they can yeah. they can reasonably... <clears throat> well, they only do it once. Oh, so, oh, I thought you were talking about the heroes. Or the soups, sorry. Oh, so the, the soups uh, are basically created in a lab, but, but Huey and... Butcher and Mother's Milk and, and Frenchie inject themselves with V so they can fight soups. And they only have to do it once, basically, but it gives them, like, it gives them slight invulnerability and super strength so they can actually fight and kill superheroes. They never do that in the show. And, and not so far. Not saying that that's necessarily a make or break thing, but. It'd be one thing if they said, well, let's just leave this out to make it more interesting on how they would kill superheroes. Okay, sure, you can make a better soap opera with that. But then you go into shit like um, big-ass story elements, and it's like, let's just not cover this at all. Let's just say there's Black Noir and Homelander elements that are far more interesting in the comics than what's in the show. And in the show, they decided that let's not kill Billy Butcher's wife and let's give Homelander well, a son. Don't they kill animals? By the end of season two, but yeah. but it's not the point. She's supposed to already be dead. Like Homelander's son technically exists, but here's a spoiler. Billy Butcher clubs it to death with a lamp in the comics that never makes it out of the baby stage. <laughs> it rips out of his wife's belly. He wakes up and it's like floating like a monster shooting lasers. <clears throat> Kills his wife. He dodges the lasers, gets hit in the arm by the lasers, grabs the lamp and bashes its head in. It's fucking heavy. And that's way cooler than hiring a fucking child actor and letting the actress live and having Homelander be like, I have a son, and now Stormfront's a woman. And now she's, like, Stormfront was always a Nazi, but now it's like, oh, she's trying to recruit me because the world, New World Order. Oh. Neo-Nazism. I want to be there for my son. It's way more interesting if they're already dead. And, and Billy Butcher's got that chip on his shoulder. That's true. Oh, but what do I know? Because I've been told that I'm wrong, and the show is far superior to the comics. Oh, I mean that's all subjective. Anyways. It's all bullshit. Sorry, I'm watching too much Super Mario. Oh yeah, they're totally fine. Yeah, put out enough content. How they do we? Uh, they don't put out enough t- content that I like to watch. That's true. I just, I just like, I their, like their live action stuff and I like their podcasts. I don't like their let's plays. Anymore. I just Personally. don't like the games that they're playing. They're doing too much. I like, I like their uh, their truck simulator series. American truck simulator. I just do the weekly podcast <clears throat> until the new live action stuff comes out. I mean, they might just switch to that format in the future, you never know. But they just do podcasts and live action. I'm not going to let this go. I think Carl Urban needs to be the, the Doom guy. He was. He was, he was a not, Doom guy. He did not wear the armor. He, he was a Doom guy. Where's the armor? He had, he had Doom 2 armor. No, I want him to be like he was in Dread. Like, straight adaption. So you want to believe this one? From start to finish, he wakes up, he puts the fucking armor on, and then the fucking metal music plays. Yeah. And the demons start coming in. I'm not gonna let that go. I mean, I'm just surprised that you forgot that he was. Well, he wasn't, though. He was 
he was a Doom guy. Saying that he's, let's just say he's the protagonist of the shitty movie Doom. I'm not gonna admit that he was the Doom guy, because he wasn't. Well, nope, well. nope, nope, nope. Although, you know, there is something to that, since all the video game Doom guys now are confirmed to be canon, I believe. Like, it's always been the same guy the whole time. Yeah. But if you look at Doom 2, the armor that they're wearing in the Doom movie with Dwayne the Rock Johnson in it uh, is very similar. It's that, that darker, <clears throat> toned armor. I want Carl Urban to have the belly armor. Oh, the Doom 64. From Doom, the yeah. original Doom. Doom. He's got his belly's exposed with his abs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You want to put that one on? I have that outfit on this game. Hell, yeah. Yeah, Carl Urban was in fucking Lord of the Rings, too. Was he? Who was he in Lord of the yeah, Rings? Yeah, dog. Fuck, don't put me on the spot. I just don't remember that. Well, what he was. <laughs> uh, it's totally real. I just don't remember. I'd tell you if I could remember. My phone's on the charger. It's true. My car's on the charger. I don't need a key to drive. I can't make me bother. You know that song? No. Oh. Yeah, me either. I hate these swimming segments. This is something I could have done without. What else were we talking about? Carl Urban was in Lord of the Rings. Did you know that? Fucking nothing. Yeah, that's right. What else was he in? Dude, we gotta watch, uh... Let's watch the Amazon Prime Season 1 and 2 of The Tick, and then just do a, uh, a summary of it. Let's what, like a, like a review, almost? A review summary, like... We'll summarize it and review it. Because, uh... That is a great British actor. Oh, yeah, yeah, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. yeah, I do like him. I feel like he's been in other stuff too, because like that the, whole crew. The of, funny thing is, I recognized <clears throat> him through <clears throat> through his facial expressions, through that mask, and I was like, "What the fuck?" And and I googled it, and I was like, "Damn, I am behind on the times, man." Yeah, no shit. So, I hear you. I did just watch Shaun of the Dead the other day and Hot Fuzz. Uh, I showed uh, I showed my kid Shaun of the Dead, because you know we're slowly branching into the. Uh, more adult movies he can watch and Shaun of the Dead isn't horrible it's got uh, it's got a lot of dad jokes I feel like you think Shaun of the Dead has dad jokes in it? yeah like the whole movie I think that it has jokes that are just specifically designed they're definitely like like uh, what is that uh, lethal weapon I get, not lethal weapon uh you know what I'm talking about with, uh, God, it's a guy who's got a girl's name. Lori. Lori. Oh, wow. That's, what the fuck is his name? That's, uh. Hey, it's a shark. That's a good generalization, piece of shit. Brandon. Fuck you up. I guess we're just gonna let that go then. What are we talking about? What the fuck is that guy's name? Jeffrey Dahmer. No, not Jeffrey Dahmer. It was, uh. Uh. Oh, like he he here he, 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 the fuck was his name? He's got he's got white hair. He was in airplane. He says, "Don't call me Shirley." Oh yeah. What the fuck is that guy's name? He's super famous. People are gonna fucking crucify me. Well, I know who you're talking about. Look, look, man. Just because, uh, just because. We're drawing a blank. His name wasn't Shirley. Remember that. <laughs> no, it definitely wasn't Shirley. As far as I know. What if it was? Groovy, baby. Groovy. I don't know how it's already 7 o'clock. Because time. 
Yeah, well, that pisses Time me off. Time and space. I wish I would have been more funnier for this session. Uh, I mean, you were cracking me up, so. I don't know about that. What? <laughs> what does that mean? What do you mean, mean you don't know about that? It's, it's a subjective thing. What? I'm telling you that, yeah, that well, it happened. I'll take your pity laughs off the camera, but on camera. It's a different story, my dude. I guess so. I didn't realize they were pity laughs. Yeah, I didn't realize it either. Thanks for admitting it just now. <laughs> I don't know that I admitted wow. it just now either. I said I didn't oh know that they God. were. Because I could have wasted a ton of time <laughs> on this friendship. <laughs> that was a test. <laughs> With the thing I said right just now about pity laughing. Oh. Did I pass? Dude, you passed. <laughs> That's good. Like an F plus. <laughs> go, go listen to Tenacious D. Yeah, if you don't know what that's from, you're not listening to early enough Tenacious D. You know what song? They're uh, not sponsoring us, by the way. Have you heard? Have, that's just have they ever released "Fuck a Like a Motherfucker from Hell"? Uh, apparently, if you know about it, it's not like well, they fucking I, sent you a copy. No, it's like they talked about it in the <laughs> uh, Pick a Destiny. Uh, commentary, Can I stop? and and it and it it turned into um, storm the gate. So they had a song called "Fuck a Like a Motherfucker from Hell," and uh, they replaced the song with a song called "Storm the Gate" in the movie. But but originally there was a song called "Fuck a Like a Motherfucker," and it sounds amazing. But uh, I don't I don't know if it's ever <coughs> been heard. Uh, no, not by me. I didn't even know about it. I mean, you're still following Tenacious D. What do you think of their new songs? Um, I really like the one that they just released on Instagram. Uh, yeah. I yeah. forget what it's called. I, I've not been following them as closely as, as I should, as they deserve. Uh, but, uh... Have been watching a lot of Bo Burnham's special and just listening to the the audio version. Um, it's also really good. Um, I think they're just like really settling into a different era of Tenacious D. Like they've been heading that way since probably like Rise of the Phoenix, where it's just it's good. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it's a it's a bad era to head into, but they're like maturing as far as. They're aging like a fine wine. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just in the mindset that they can't get better than Rise of the Phoenix. Rise of the Phoenix was pretty fucking good, but I did like. I mean, you know, the, that's what I. That's what I was pointing out is like they were they were I heading. Didn't, I didn't like in a direction. Though. I didn't watch it all the way through, so yeah, I, I didn't like it There's as much. There's nothing in there to to fucking hook me. Nothing. Well, and it, you know. I think it was just I I will the wrong time for well, it. No, I'm going to admit that like so I bet we'll look back so on Jack, it. So yeah, it was good. Jack drew and animated if you can That's call it loose, that. That's a loose, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the movie <laughs> if you can call it that. Yeah. It's pretty it's a pretty loose definition. And and for what that was um I mean, yeah, I liked it because uh it's it's just yeah. funny to hear them voice act because it's I would say genuinely good voice acting. Well, yeah, yeah, I think. They but then they well. purposely toned it down to match the animation. Because there's parts where like, oh fuck, dude, and the, <laughs> the way they do it yeah. with the way it's drawn, it's like that wasn't his best take and it was on purpose. Like, yeah. You can kind of hear some of it though in the first Tenacious D album, like where he's like, like, dude, there's a potato famine in Idaho. You gotta go. And I maybe attribute attributed to that, but tribute. They definitely downplayed the uh, voiceover with the animation, in my opinion. And uh, I still think the the new shit that they're putting out's better, like the uh, the Jack Gray. Yeah, song I did love that, that one they, that they put out. 
That was fucking good. I think they've put out two other Tenacious D songs since, including the one that you sent me, which I had seen on YouTube. I just hadn't watched yet. Like I, I'm. Subs- it was good. I'm. I, well, I watched it now, but I'm just. I'm subscribed to all that shit, and I saw it, and then hilariously, uh, you sent it to me. <laughs> Moments later. Yeah, pretty much. What's Kurt Cobain doing these days? Murder. Being murdered? Or committing murder? Has been murdered. <laughs> kind of fucked up of you to call him a has been. He has been murdered and unavenged. Unavenged. 